welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for today's Partners and Cream project pan update because I feel like even though I have only one product that I'm rolling out, I feel like I've made really good progress on a specific product that I'm very excited to share. So that is what today's video is going to be. If you have not yet heard of the Partners in Cream project pan, it was created by Steph and Dolan. Both will be linked in the description box down below, as well as all other information pertaining to this project. The rules are quite simple. It is just um, no powders allowed, just work on cream and liquid products throughout your beauty collection. I do have two, four, six products that I've been working on. So if you're interested in my update, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup, I'd love for you to consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, hey you guys, we can go in order that these products have been in. So up first, I have my ColourPop X Barbie lipstick in the shade Matte Golden Beach, Golden Beach, which is this really beautiful, oh my gosh, why is my cat falling? <laughs> this really beautiful nude pink sort of shade. I did give myself just the goal of getting to the P right here, so I would have this much from the tip of the pencil to where my finger is, that much left to go. I don't know if I'm gonna hit that goal, but I am excited to see the tracked progress with this. Although now I'm like, is this the one product that I like didn't track from the beginning? I hope that I did because I feel like I've been reaching for this quite a bit and it's kind of like inspiring me to reach for lip liners more, which I'm not really a lip liner galley, but maybe I will become one. Um, I will continue to work on this and keep this in the project. I've been working on this since May and maybe hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the, the year, I could be to the P and have about half of this pencil left. And maybe I could finish this pencil next year. Who's to say really? All right, you guys, next up, one day, one day I will finish this blush. I feel like liquid blushes are like the product that never ends. Like I always feel like I fly through them really quickly and then I'm like, oh, I'm almost done with this product. That went really quick. And then the last like little bit of the product literally takes actual years to, to get through but i have the daniel sandler watercolor blush in the shade nectar i've had this in multiple projects but i am right down here my packaging on this is faulty so the actual like product doesn't come out the tip anymore it comes out the side down here so it's quite messy but i've been using this a lot to mix with um blushes that i think are too pigmented like cream and liquid blushes that i think are too pigmented or i just want like a super natural blush i've been reaching for this so much this will be an empty before the end of the year like this product cannot enter cannot enter 2024 with me it just needs to be an empty so i am still working on that next up i have my kosas lip oil in the shade jaws and i rolled this in in june and when i rolled this in i had quite a bit of product left this is one of the older lip products in my collection i do really enjoy this and i had a lot of fun reaching for this this summer I've been making slow progress. I feel like I'm about halfway through this product, but I also feel like the majority of the product is just like sitting on the walls, like coating the walls. So I don't even know if I have like technically half of the product left. I think this will take me close to the end of the year to finish this up, but I am I'm confident that I can do that because it is a really beautiful red shade, kind of like a true blue red sort of shade, blue toned red. And it just gives the most beautiful glossy red look to the lip. It's pigmented, but not too pigmented. And I feel like with a lot of holiday looks, I will really enjoy pairing this with those looks. It's also a really comfortable lip product as I'm getting ready for the day if I would just wanna toss it on my lips. And speaking of, I need to put some sort of lip product on my lips because they are not looking glossy enough right now. So this one I am still working on. Again, I think it'll take me up until potentially the finale of this project, but I do think that I will also finish that up. Um, a product that I rolled in two updates ago is this Gabrielle, Gabrielle nail polish. It's just my top coat and I do a lot of eyeshadow as nail polish. So I kind of wanted to track like a nail polish that I'm using literally every time I do my nails, how quickly am I gonna go through it? When I started, it was, I don't know how I'll be able to see with the glare, about right here. Last update, I marked it here and I could mark it just a little bit lower now, but I feel like my Sharpie lines will just like blend together. Um, but I have just over half of this left. 
Again, I continue to use this at least four to five times a month and I'm doing multiple layers because that's how I like use this product as I am doing my nail polish with my eyeshadow. So I'm really just curious to see where we'll be at at the end of the year. I'm enjoying tracking my progress on this. I've worked on different nail polishes throughout this project and I get really bored using the same shade of nail polish over and over and over again. But what I love about this is I can literally use any of my eyeshadows with this and I'm just tracking the progress and I'm using it every time and not getting bored. Two products left. The one that I'm super excited about is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz. So I finished up a different ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in this project earlier this year and that took me years of effort. I included ColourPop Ritz in the 23 products I want to pan or finish off in 2023. And I rolled this late, so late, rolled this into this project so late into the year. I was like, I'm not going to make any progress at all. I really hope I took a picture last month. I feel like I was not great last month of taking progress photos, but I'm so excited because I don't know if you'll be able to see, but you can see the second ring here. Yes, there's still product like in between like this nub here and the first ring but it's really shallow really thin and then i feel like the product on the outside of this of this product is really getting thin and i remember thinking the first time i panned a super shock shadow that i was so close to being done so i'm trying not to be led astray by that feeling but i am reaching for this at least three to four times a week days that i'm like rushing out the door for work which is at least three days a week i just literally pop this on the lids and like call it a day but I've also enjoyed mixing this with some eye looks as well. And I feel like I've just made really, really great progress. I don't necessarily think this will be an empty by the end of the year. Would I love that? Yes. Do I think that's realistic? No, but I think I can get really close and then finish this hopefully pretty early on in 2024. Um, this is still like one of the like creamiest super shocks I have in my collection. So it's really encouraging to see that it has not yet dried out and i'm just very excited about my progress with that and that brings us to the one and only empty i have for this update and it is actually a body mist i did finish off my sol de janeiro anita body mist which i'm super excited about um because i have brought a lot of fragrances into my collection this year i wanted to make sure i was still using you know older ones in my collection this isn't super old i purchased it last summertime um, but I'm excited to have a body mist empty. This was a product that I said kind of gave me like bad scent memories of last year. I do feel like I was able to kind of like sway my memories a bit with this and it was definitely feeling better using this the last like month or two that I was using this. I don't think I'll purchase this again though. I don't think I'll purchase this again. I think it smells really good, especially if you like the boom boom cream. I think you'd really enjoy this fragrance. And I think you can still get this one. I don't think that was exclusive to like last summer, but I personally don't think I'll purchase that one again. I'm definitely more of like an actual like perfume girly over a body mist, but I do have some body mists in my collection. And speaking of, I'm going to be rolling in a new body mist to replace that one and just see how much use I can get out of this body mist. Because again, I don't want to feel super overwhelmed by my fragrance collection. This is another one I purchased last summer, but didn't get a ton of use out of this one last summer. It's also from Sol de Janeiro, and this is the Tropical Nights fragrance. And this has creamy tonka bean and vanilla absolute. Like those are the notes listed here. And it really does give this like kind of fall evening sort of vibe. Like it doesn't have to be tropical nights. Like I feel like it's giving it's given me the fall feels. So I'm really excited to use this and just see how much I can use up. I don't think I will finish this by the end of the year because we know most days I'm wearing replica by the fireside. It's my favorite. I look, I like to mix these from time to time as well, but when I look at this, I've used about a fourth of this product, meaning I have three fourths still left to go. So we'll see. I'd like to at least get through another fourth of this so this is like halfway gone leading into 2024 i think this is something i can also get use out of and would feel like it makes sense next like january february as well like i feel like i could wear this as a winter fragrance but i'm gonna be rolling this in to replace 
my Sol de Janeiro empty and I'm very excited about it. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's Partners in Cream Project Pan update. Just a very short and sweet update. I would love to know what was your most recent cream or liquid empty. Let a girl know in the comments below. Other than that though, you guys, thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.